Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Today, I'm going to share two really fun puzzles I saw on social media. Problem one, you have five glasses stacked on top of each other, and the height from the bottom to the top is equal to 34 centimeters. Then there are two glasses stacked on top of each other, and the height from the bottom to the top is equal to 19 centimeters. The question is, what is the height of a single glass equal to? Problem two. You have a bottle that's in the standard shape of a wine bottle, and it contains a standard volume of liquid equal to 750 cubic centimeters. The height from the bottom to the top is equal to 27 centimeters. The diameter of this bottle is equal to 8 centimeters. The bottle is basically a perfect cylinder except for the dimple punt at the bottom and the shoulder and neck at the top. The thickness of the bottle is negligible. You could think about it to be a flimsy plastic bottle. Now, this bottle is filled with some liquid and this measures 14 centimeters from the bottom. This exact bottle with this liquid is flipped upside down and the measurement from the bottom to the top of the liquid is now equal to 19 centimeters. The question is, what is the volume of the liquid equal to? I credit Alex Bellos's puzzle column in The Guardian which is where I saw this puzzle and slightly adapted the numbers. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. So let's solve problem one. So I think a good way to start is from the end. Let's say the height of the glass that we want to solve for is equal to the variable x. Now, when we have two glasses, it will be equal to x plus some additional height. Let's say this height is equal to h. So we know that x plus h is equal to 19. Now, go to the five glasses. We're going to have an h over here. We have another h and another h. So compared to the 19 centimeters case, we have three more h variables. So we know that 19 plus 3h is equal to the total height of 34. So let's just focus on these two equations in two variables. From 19 plus 3h is equal to 34. Subtract 19 from both sides to get 3h is equal to 15. And then dividing both sides by 3 gives h is equal to 5. Substituting that into the other equation gives x plus 5 is equal to 19, and that means x is equal to 14. So the answer is the height of the glass is equal to 14 centimeters, and that's the answer to problem 1. Let's now solve problem 2. So how are we going to find the volume of the liquid? Let's start out with the original bottle. Now, if the entire bottle was a perfect cylinder, we could calculate its volume from the textbook formula. So a cylinder with a diameter of eight centimeters will have a radius that's half of that, which is equal to four centimeters. The height of the cylinder will be the height of the bottle, which is 27. So the volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of its base times its height. The area of its base is pi r squared. So the volume is equal to pi r squared times h. In this case, r is equal to 4 and h is equal to 27. So substituting in and then simplifying gives the volume of the cylinder is 432 pi. But we know the bottle is not a perfect cylinder. It has a dimple punt and it has a shoulder and a neck. So how do we account for that? So let's set up some variables for these volumes. Let's say the amount that's missing at the top will be equal to u. It'll be the upper volume. And let's say this volume at the bottom will have a volume equal to b. 
So we now know that if we take 432 pi and we subtract u and we subtract b, that'll be the volume of the bottle. But the volume of the bottle is exactly equal to 750 cubic centimeters. That's given. So we have 432 pi minus u minus b is equal to 750. So let's take this equation and put it to the side. Now let's look at the case where we have the bottle standing on its bottom and the liquid goes 14 centimeters from the bottom. So what is the volume of the liquid? Let's say this is a variable V. We can calculate V as if we had a perfect cylinder and then we would subtract out the volume that's not there. So here we would have a cylinder with the radius that's equal to 4 and a height that's equal to 14. Then we need to subtract out this volume which we've labeled as B. So the volume of the liquid is equal to pi times 4 squared times 14 minus b. This simplifies to be 224 pi minus b. Now the trick in this problem is when we flip the bottle upside down, it's going to be the same volume. So we will calculate the volume in another way. So now we are going to flip the bottle upside down, and now we have another way that we can calculate the volume of the liquid. So let's imagine we had a perfect cylinder with the radius equal to 4 and a height equal to 19. Then we're going to subtract this volume, which is u. So the volume of the liquid will be exactly the same, and in this case, it will be equal to pi times 4 squared times 19 minus u. This simplifies to be 304 pi minus u. We now have three equations in three variables but we need to solve for v. So what we'll do is we'll add the two equations that are equal to v. So we get 2v is equal to 528 pi minus u minus b. But from the other equation, we can solve that minus u minus b is equal to 750 minus 432 pi. We can substitute that into the equation that's equal to 2v. So we substitute this value in, and we get that 2v is equal to 528 pi plus 750 minus 432 pi. This equation simplifies to be 750 plus 96 pi. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2 gives that v is equal to 375 plus 48 pi, which is approximately equal to 525.80 cubic centimeters. And we've solved for the volume of the liquid. Now this is the correct answer, but let's think about it for a minute. What does this volume represent? 375 is exactly half of 750, so that's half the bottle. What is 48 pi equal to? Well, if we had a cylinder with a radius of 4 and a height equal to 3, that would be a volume of 48 pi, and that's exactly the same as 3 centimeters of this liquid in the middle of the bottle. So 48 pi is also equal to this. So we have calculated the correct answer, but thinking about the answer has led to another puzzle. Why is the volume of the liquid such a simple answer? Why is it equal to half the bottle plus 3 centimeters of liquid in the middle? It's these kinds of questions that inspire mathematicians to think of alternate ways to solve the problems. I'm going to share a wonderful solution that was probably thought of by a mathematical genius. So the real trick in solving this problem is to drink a small amount of liquid. So to understand why, let's first calculate the amount of air that's in each bottle. The total height of the bottle is 27 centimeters, and in the first case, there's 14 centimeters of liquid. That means there will be 27 minus 14, which equals 13 centimeters of air. In the other bottle, there's 19 centimeters of liquid, which leaves 27 minus 19, which equals 8 centimeters of air. Now, the trick is to drink 3 centimeters of liquid from both bottles. So this will reduce the amount of liquid by 3 centimeters in both cases. Now, Let's try and calculate the volume of the remaining liquid. So let's adjust the measurements. 
So in the first bottle, the height will decrease by three centimeters. So it goes to 14 minus three, which is equal to 11 centimeters. In the other bottle, it'll be 19 minus three, which is equal to 16 centimeters. Now, how much air is in the first bottle? It will be 27 minus 11, which is equal to 16 centimeters. And this is the key detail. So let's take a look at the volume of air in the first bottle. That's 16 centimeters going from this neck area to the middle. And in the second bottle, we have 16 centimeters of liquid going from the neck to this middle area. From here, we can see that the amount of air in the first bottle is exactly equal to the amount of liquid in the second bottle. But the amount of air plus the amount of liquid is unchanged between the two bottles, and the amount of air plus the amount of liquid is equal to the total volume of the bottle. So we can conclude the amount of air is equal to the amount of liquid in each bottle. Therefore, the volume of each is exactly half of the bottle. The air will be equal to 750 over two, which is 375 cubic centimeters, and the volume of the liquid will also be 375 cubic centimeters. So we figured out the volume of the liquid after we drank three centimeters. But to get back to the original amount, we need to add back in three centimeters of liquid. So we add in the volume of a cylinder with the radius equal to four and a height equal to three. This will of course work out to 48 pi. So the original volume of the liquid is exactly equal to 375 plus 48 pi, which is approximately equal to 525.80 centimeters cubed. And that's the answer. What an amazing way to solve this puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.